Namaste. Let us uh, resume mother's life, incidents from mother's life. And this will be the last part. There is one very beautiful incident which occurred in Dakshineshwar. Mother would carry, she would cook for the master and she would carry the master's food to him during lunch time. So one day when she was doing that, another lady came and she said, Ma, can I take the master's food to him? And mother lovingly handed over the plate to her. Now the lady placed the food in front of Sri Ramakrishna. Sri Ramakrishna would often be in ecstasy. And um, then she left. When mother came there, Sri Ramakrishna suddenly told her, why did you send my food through her? Don't you know? Uh, she has not led a good life. Why did you send my food to her through her? I will I will not be able to take it. Then the mother joined her hands and with all humility she said, Master, I only will bring your food always. But if somebody calls me mother, I cannot refuse them. So please accept this food today. I will try to bring the food as far as possible. But please remember if somebody calls me mother, I cannot refuse that person. And you must also remember you are not just my Lord. You are the Lord of all beings. See what a beautiful expression of mother's inner bhav. Hmm? Sri Ramakrishna quietly ate the food. So this was our mother's heart. She was always for her children. And she could accept one and all. See, actually the Advaitic vision that we speak of, the highest realization of Advaita, this is what it brings about. This, this is the kind of loving, all accepting, all inclusive nature that happens naturally as a result of that perception. So in mother's life, you find that, you see, she would say, Ami Sateroma, Ami Asateroma. I am the mother of the virtuous and I am the mother of the vicious. Whoever has said this, just imagine, hmm? a vicious uh, person, his own biological mother may disown him. But mother says this, I am the mother of the virtuous and I am the mother of the vicious. Whenever you are in distress, remember you have a mother. And it is not just a formality. It is not just a, just a, colloquially we are using the word mother. She would say, I am your real mother. She is that Jagat Janani, the Supreme Shakti, who manifests as the 24 cosmic principles itself, who is the origin of our being. And that is why she is the universal mother. In so many ways, she has expressed this. Mother's um, Advaitic realization was so firm that I can tell you one very beautiful incident here. Uh, when Vivekananda visited Mayavati in 1901, he was surprised to see uh, that there was a photo of Sri Ramakrishna there which was being uh, worshipped. There were flowers and all that. So he was a little upset because he wanted Mayavati ashram to be uh, exclusively for the practice of Advaita. And so he thought that any form of formal worship or dualistic uh, bhav, mood, should not be encouraged there. So he asked for that photo to be removed. Now, after his passing in 1902, one of the inmates of the Mayavati ashram wanted to get mother's opinion on this. So he wrote to mother, Ki, what should we do here in the Mayavati ashram? And you know mother's reply, it is really remarkable. She wrote back, Sri Ramakrishna was Advaitin. So you are all his followers, you are all Advaitins. Thus supporting Swamiji's view. So mother's entire perception, mind, her ability to give spiritual instruction, this is so remarkable. You will find it again and again in her life. And in spite of all this, this immense knowledge, see she was Saraswati herself, according to Sri Ram Krishna, who had come to impart wisdom to men. And in spite of this, she radiated the mother ideal, the mother bhav, the all-consuming love of motherhood. 
that is the only cement in human society you see which which cements everything which brings together everything so she radiated that bhav that is why this personality is indeed unique and she nurtured both the monastic sangha and the devotees with this bhav everybody who came to her man woman or child felt they were coming into the lap of their mother this is the uniqueness of ma sharda right from that young age of 18 she had this perception she could see everybody as her child and behave with everybody like that so you see the immense purity of this personality this is what conquers all hearts and a uh, mother's reassurance is always there for her children Uh, you know this is another very beautiful incident which i would like to mention here this was this instruction was given to swami shantananda a disciple of holy mother shri sharda devi mother advised swami shantananda whenever there is a crisis in your life go into isolation think deeply on me of me wholeheartedly call on me eat little at this time keep your mind your body very pure and plunge into spiritual practice practice intense japa and meditation and pray to me you will hear my voice and still if you find no response from me you should know your mind has not risen high enough to get my response i will respond to wholehearted prayer this was mother's command to swami shantananda it applies to all of us whenever there is any problem in our life if you turn wholeheartedly to the divine the divine will respond mother will respond mother cannot stay back because she is the mother so she herself has given in her own words what what really will bring great blessing great peace to the heart of her children mother also teaches us how to love she ta- teaches us this lesson through the medium of a young girl called mukul mala once mukul mala was just a 9 year old girl who loved mother and mother was once going to jerambati and mother told her that well will you continue to love me when i am there and she said yes mother how will i know that well you can know it mother mother said if you love everyone at home then i will know that yes your heart is as loving as i see it now and then mukul mala said okay mother then mother said do you know how to love everyone equally at home don't demand anything for your love don't demand anything of anyone because if you d- have demands then you will your love will be as per who the person who meets that demand somebody who uh, meets the demand more you will love more so then your love will be improportionate your love will be biased so in other words you see mother's advice is give without anticipation without expectation <clears throat> if you can give love like that then you will really manifest the divine loving heart this is the way to love all equally mother says one really requires a saint's heart to be able to do this isn't it so actually mother is advising us to purge ourselves of all impurities all expectations from others then only love is true then only love will ring true so in these these are all enormous lessons we can have from mother's life in one word mother used to say the essential thing is nirvasana to empty the mind of desires in such a pure mind the highest divine qualities get manifested so uh, i think mother's is what we call shesh katha the, the last thing about spiritual life you will find it in mother's instructions in fact her last message to human kind was if you want peace of mind do not find faults with others rather look at your own faults 
the whole world is your own where will you find faults learn to make the whole world your own no one is a stranger my child the world is yours she says this was an instruction given to the mother of annapurna and through this medium she is instructing all of us see it is such an important saying her messages to modern womanhood are i would say the most relevant to this modern age where women have made such great strides but all these spiritual personalities will tell us there is no, nothing great if it is bereft of purity of heart and mind purity of body so mother's main message was that there is no treasure equal to contentment she says and no virtue equal to fortitude and she also reminds women of their great dharma they are actually the hub of the wheel of society from that hub arise the spokes the families if that hub is not strong and stable how will the families how will the spokes stay in place and how will the wheel rotate so great um, i would say messages come out of mother and it just reminds me of scriptural passages whatever mother says you know we have this very beautiful injunction in the scriptures dharmo rakshati rakshitah dharmo hantaram hanti dharmo rakshati rakshitah dharma protects him who protects her dharma here by dharma is meant righteous conduct if one acts righteously that very conduct will protect one oneself and dharmo hantaram hanti one who destroys her her own conduct her own politeness her own dignity she gets destroyed by that so all these wonderful messages you will find embodied in the life of the mother just meditation on mother's life is the sure way to imbibe all these spiritual virtues let us meditate on mother's life and sincerely pray for her blessings for our own spiritual life om shanti shanti shanti